So getting to the airport is always so nerve wracking because you don't know what traffic is like and we're about an hour away from it. So luckily I have something to calm my nerves. And here comes my Uber driver. About 10 minutes late, but I gotta not stress because I'm on vacation. Alright, on the road. And say hi to Joe. Hi! Uh, unfortunately, she can't make it with us this time because she has to work, make money so that I can go explore and explore around. So, hour and a half to the airport. Let's see if we can make it in time. There's the regular check-in and then we're going to go to the pre-check which is actually part of a global entry. So is that worth $85 for five years? I think so. Ah, hetchy hetchy water. Thank you, San Francisco. Pre-check, which is part of global entry, uh, only took 10 minutes to get from line through the station, and they even have this handy little water bottle filling station. So I think we're good to go, but the water filling station made me want to go to the bathroom now, so. I think the robot is calling to me to buy something from them. Hmm. So I made it to be. 12, which is the gate, and uh, not too crowded, but they have these nice little tables. They, they you can actually just sit and relax, so it's kind of nice. And uh, our plane is not quite here yet. Well, when in Rome, put the mask on at the airport and they're filling, so uh, can't afford to get sick now.
Okay, so Southwest comes into Terminal 1 in LAX, which by the way, LAX is cooler than SFO, so kind of weird, but that's how it is in May. And so we have to walk all the way down to International Terminal, which is uh, three terminals out. So uh, they said it was a 10 minute walk, so let's see. We'll see if it's 10 minutes. So this is what happens when you fly into LAX. It is crazy. Um, so decided not to meet up with my friend and now I'm roaming the airport, the international terminal, looking for basically dinner before the flight. Uh, so I got about an hour and a half to kill. And what do you do? You walk the airport. Um, I don't know if I feel like Tom Hanks in that movie, but definitely crazy. So hopefully we can find something good. There's a food court at the International Terminal. KFC, Panda Express, Pizza, Unami Burger, Mexican. Uh, I feel like I'm in a mall. LAX is crazy and the International Terminal is crazier. So, this is dinner. A little burrito bowl. And, uh, we'll see. Hopefully it won't get me sick. So, here's a little, another little tip. You don't have to sit where everybody else sits, uh, where all the dining area is. I found this little niche over here, has a little plug for my charger, and uh, just being able to watch the tarmac. I'm right next to my gate, so the plane is not gonna sneak up on me. But yeah, look at this. Nice and quiet, nice and quiet, and I can enjoy my dinner with a view. So, not too bad. Here's another tip. When you get to the airport and you're ready to board your flight, change your watch over to the local time so that uh, you can be already on your destination time. Okay, so we're on our airline and it's about an hour into the flight. This is Sandra, my seatmate. And uh, there's, they serve dinner on this flight. Cheers, I have my water. And uh, uh, she has the pasta and I have the carne. So let's see how it looks. So tonight's her dinner is pasta with tomatoes and our, mine's supposed to be a roast chicken with a carne sticker. Ah, looks like... That's right. Chicken parm. No, too, not too bad. Uh, so this is second dinner because I ate at six with a burrito bowl at the airport. So, okay, let's dig in and see how it looks. Okay, let's let's give this a try. What do we got? <laughs> some potatoes and some chicken. because there's potatoes in my dish. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, dinner service was at 9 p.m. LA time. And after dinner, uh, lights out. So at 10 p.m. or basically midnight in Peruvian time, lights out. And so, this is the only where the area that has lights. So, use the restroom 
wash up a little bit, it's time to go to bed. So this is the end of day one. It's been pretty crazy, but uh, uh, we're only halfway there. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.